Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today it's all about Hourglass, one of my favourite, favourite brands. Today we're doing a full autumnal look and this is the look that I've created with all things Hourglass. So please get ready with me and let's take it from the beginning. Can I dance for you? Okay, so let's get started. Other than liner and obviously a bit of skincare, I just wanted to start from scratch. I used to use the tinted moisturizer equivalent. I'll pop the name on the screen now. I feel like the formulas are better for sort of normal to oily or oily combination skin types. Obviously I'm on the drier side, so I need as much hydration as possible. So initially I did think about applying a different kind of base before applying the Hourglass makeup, but then I had a different idea. So I've decided to go in with concealer only, God help me. So I'm going to use two different types of concealers to do my base and hopefully it will work. So I'm going to use the Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid in colour Fair. So I'll use this as my all over. Um, just because I know it's super hydrating, it's radiant and it's very, very lightweight. And then I'll go in with the um, concealer stick, which is a bit more creamy and it's in colour pearl. I'll put all the full names on the screen, guys. So I'll use this for where I want a little bit more coverage. So let's try this and pray for the best. So obviously I'll apply it under my eyes. I know it looks really thick, but it's very, very lightweight. My skin isn't too dry at the moment. However, you can see I have quite a bit of redness in the skin. To be honest, redness is something that I've suffered for for a long, long time. And you just gotta live with it, you know? So I'm sort of just applying where I need coverage, which is pretty much everywhere. Then I'm going to go in with this beauty blender brush. I like this one because it's um, a dual beauty brush. So you've got the um, sort of like normal sponge on one end and then you can just flick over the, the what do you call it, elasticated holder and then you've got the powder puff on the other end. So I quite like it for convenience. So using the side that's best for the creamy and liquid products, blend everything in. By the way, Fair is perfect for under my eyes because it is a little bit on the lighter side, but I will warm everything up later with a little bit of bronzer. So you can see that the colour is not so bad and it's done a good job of covering up most of my uh, sins. So, and also you can see that it's quite a glowy finish. So where I want a little extra coverage, I will go in with the concealer stick. And like I said, this is in the colour Pearl. So I'm just going to go in areas where I generally tend to have like quite a lot of redness, stubborn redness, which is my cheek area. I also concentrated the first concealer around the centre of my face, because that's where I tend to have most coloration, as do most people. That concealer did a great job of just giving me extra coverage where I needed it on the face. So you can still see my skin through it. It's still quite natural looking, but there's no texture on the skin and it's giving me that glow that I wanted. So we can move on to powder now. So this is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Obviously this is not the size of it, it's quite big, but this is the travel size. I didn't have the big size, so I thought I'd use this for the video. So this is obviously a loose powder. So I'm just going to apply it where I want to take away some shine, which is again mainly around the center of my face and around the T-zone. You don't want to be too mattified for a natural look because your skin naturally has oils in it and a natural glow. If you want to perfect powdering, you can go in with a sponge and gently press the powder into the skin. Although it has taken away the shine, you can see that my skin is still quite glowy, still quite radiant. And you can always add more powder later on. Next, for the bronzer, I'm just going to go in with the Hourglass Holiday 2020 Edit Sculpture Palette. So there is only one bronzer colour in there, which is this one, which is called Natural Bronze Light. 
So I'm going to go with my bronzer brush. I remember it being quite pigmented from my other hourglass video, which I will pop down below, which is more of an in-depth review on what I thought of these products. So you can see instantly how that bronzer has just added warmth to my skin and hopefully a bit of definition as well. Next, for the blush, I'm going to go with my favourite, favourite product, which is the Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion. It's very much like a coral tone, you can see it's well loved. It's almost hitting the bottom of the pan, pan soon. So, on the apples of the cheeks. And I love it because it just gives a pop of colour to the skin and it looks so fresh. Makes you look like you've been on a detox for a week and your skin's just got this gorgeous glow as a result of it. Then I'm going to go in with the Ambient Lighting Palette, um, with, which is the all-time classic. It's got dim light, incandescent light and radiant light. You will see how well loved this is. Gosh, it looks awful on camera. <laughs> so I just literally swipe a brush across all three colours and swipe it across my cheeks for such a natural glow. When I did the recent Dior video, you saw how glowy their products were. Um, but where I said that if you're more of a subtle highlight person, you don't like in your face highlight, this is the perfect palette for you or anything really from Hourglass is perfect for you because Hourglass, although it creates radiance, it's not in your face glow. So it's almost like that lip from within glow, that glow, like I said, where you've been in a sauna for a week <laughs> and you've been detoxifying your skin. That's the kind of glow that Hourglass gives you. So you can just see how the light reflects and bounces off my skin. So now I'm going to quickly move on to brows. I'm going to be using the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. So it looks like this. Absolutely love the packaging. I've said this before. It's got a slanted pencil edge on one end and then a spoolie on the other end. So it's great for brushing the hairs. I always like to prep the brows by brushing through one time. I do have um, hairs, but it's a little bit like there's empty spaces and gaps. So I'll use this to just fill in. So my brows are done. I know they look quite dark right now, but it's just because there's like a little balance with my eyes. Once I do my eyes properly, you'll notice that it will just sort of even out and look more natural. Only thing I'd say about this brow pencil, it's not the easiest to use. So if you're not a brow pencil type of girl, I would avoid this pencil just because of the way it's shaped. It's almost in this triangular shape um, and it's not, I would say the easiest in terms of to create precision and line and brow like hair strokes. Secondly, the spoolie is not that great. Um, I'm not a fan of the spoolie in the slightest. It's quite small, chunky. I didn't feel like it really brushed through the product as much as I wanted it to, as opposed to the spoolie that I currently use. You can see the difference in the shape there. It's okay, it's not the worst brow pencil I've used, but in terms of the money that you're paying for an hourglass product, I think this could be much better. So moving on to eyes, I already have a little bit of eyeliner on because I didn't purchase an eyeliner this time around. I just popped on a different eyeliner and now I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow, which is the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in a colour called Reflect. It looks like this, it's all like a pink, champagne shimmery color it's very gorgeous i will just apply this using my finger because of the formula so this is that perfect color to wear if you like a color that sort of brightens up the eye and gives a bit of pizzazz with a, without being too much in your face However, just for some added depth, I'm going to go back in with the bronze colour from the six pan palette and just use the colour for like added depth on the outer corner of my eye. As I have warned before, obviously these pigments aren't designed to be used on the eyes, so please do so at your own risk, especially if you have sensitive skin and eyes. So I've just used the bronze colour around my eyes to give it a little bit more definition and frame it. 
and actually really complements the autumnal look really really well because of the coppery tones that are in the bronzer so it's actually blended really nicely <laughs> next i'm going to just finish off the eyes with the caution extreme lash mascara again this is the mini size i have used a big size before but i was gifted the mini size so once i've used this up i probably will purchase a new one just applied the mascara to my top and lower lashes to give a little bit more volume and lift because god knows i need it so next we're moving on to lips so i have the girl stylo pens lipsticks i don't know what you call them i have one in dreamer and i have one in peacemaker which are colors that i've swatched and worn on camera before let me just show you however for today's video, I decided to wear one of their glosses, which I've heard so many good things about. I'm not normally a gloss person. However, I do like the way that obviously makes my lips look. So I got the Unreal Lip Gloss in colour Fortune. And online, to be honest, it rem really reminded me of the NARS, the famous NARS Orgasm collection, where it's that pinky tone with slight like gold shimmer to it. So let me apply it and see what it looks like in person. So this is what the wand looks like. Yeah, so it's definitely pink with an undertone of gold. It smells of peppermint, which I love. So this is what Fortune looks like, and it's such a pretty color. I would say it's less gold than the orgasm collection the orgasm you can definitely see the gold in it but here it's almost verging on the transparent side um you can see a little bit of pink you can see a little bit of gold but i think it would be even nicer with paired with a lipstick so on that note i'm just going to quickly remove it and i'm going to pair it with dreamer underneath and then see what it looks like but i'm i really love the fortune on its own as well so one thing I forgot to say is that the gloss did have obviously the typical gloss texture, slightly stickiness to it. In all honesty, it was a lot less sticky than some formulas I've tried. So that was a pleasant surprise. So this is Dreamer on its own. It's a very like girly, easy to wear pink. But not Barbie pink. I don't know how it translates on camera. But let me just quickly pat it down a little bit before applying the lip gloss. Because I only wanted like a tint of the colour before applying the lip gloss. And since the shades are quite similar, I'm just going to go straight in with the wand. So that's with Dreamer underneath and you can now see a little bit more of the pink come through and I think that's nicer. So I really do like the gloss and it's definitely something I would reach for again. The only thing I would say is probably don't wear it to a rooftop event where the wind's constantly going to be blowing in your face and sticking to your lips. Other than that, it's such a really nice colour. Just to finish off, I also have the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. Um, it says to shake well and hold 10 inches from face and close your eyes, obviously. So shake it well and this is supposed to obviously set the makeup on your face i'm so used to using face mists which give a radiance to the skin and hydrate the skin rather than set the makeup so this will be a new experience for me it's a very fine mist so it's extremely comfortable to um spray it didn't have a particularly like nice um or unpleasant smell it just smelled slightly like a chemical smell but this is supposed to help the makeup last all day and like it says to give a soft focus finish so this is the final look one thing i love about hourglass as a brand and one of the reasons why i you know do several videos on it is because it's just such a grown-up brand i find that the highlighters are highlighters for grown-ups the glitter eyeshadows are glitter eyeshadows for adults um it just instantly gives you that healthy skin, that lip from within glow that I'm always banging on about. But it's such a gorgeous finish. 
everything about it screams sophistication much like the brand and how it markets itself but i really hope you enjoyed this look and um i will see you on the next one every single day just tastes the same wake up feel the emptiness of fate wash away the pain and put some makeup on my face yeah. every single day just tastes the same Stomach, butterflies in my chest. 